Okay guys, so we're gonna use another selection tool to move the fabric around in the 3D window just so we can get it to fit the way we want. Um, this particular file, for example, has a belt and we're gonna try to loop the belt through the armholes. Um, our arrangement points aren't doing it for us, so we're gonna have to manually get in there and put it where we want it to be. Um, so by now you've probably been able to select parts of your fabric with the selection tool with the, by selecting the mesh. Um, this time we're gonna put pins in it so the pins can like defy gravity and just float in the air and um, so that's kind of helpful. Um, so the pin, so just be careful. Sometimes when I look really quickly, I'm like, oh, here's a pin, but it's not, it's a tack and it does something else, kind of like glues pieces together. It's not really a selection tool, so avoid that one. I'm just letting you guys know, giving you a heads up, because I've seen beginner students um, be fooled. So it's kind of like a selection tool, the pin box. So if you, it's hidden under our selection tool. So I'm gonna click and drag, I'm holding out the menu, and there we go. So hopefully by now you've practiced the selecting mesh. Um, the pin tool is kind of the same thing. You can select by a box, clicking and dragging a box, or you can do a unique lasso. Okay, so I'm gonna do a box. Um, and let's see here. Um, hmm. Maybe what I want to do is actually first just select like the very back, just to kind of leave it there so it doesn't fall. Um, so let's zoom in. A pan. So I can select on the 3D, but look what happened when I selected on the 3D. I also selected that garment and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna just hit Command Z. Um, so what I could do is I could use my regular selection tool and just kind of click on the belt. So you kind of get a rough idea of where it is on your pattern. And then now I can go in with my pin box and then just kind of select all that mesh right there. Okay, so there's pins there. So when I hit simulate, they're gonna stay floating. It's not gonna fall, which I think is good. Um, okay, so I wanna do the same for the edges. I'm gonna pick you and I'm also gonna pick you. Okay, cool, so we got some pins in there. Um, okay, I'm gonna hit number two. And let's see here, if I just click it, stay in the same tool. I didn't switch tools. I'm so tempted to switch tools, <laughs> but just stay in this one. And if you select it, then we have our gizmo and we can use the gizmo to kind of move it. So I really like using the view keyboard shortcuts as well. So you don't get at a weird angle. I hit number two and it's pretty easy for me to move the gizmo to the right. I'm going to hit four and that's going to make me move the gizmo this way. And hopefully it goes through her armhole. Did I, I think I did it. I don't know. I'm going to go back to two. Kind of inspect here. No, I did bad. I put it through her uh, garment. So I'm gonna say Command Z. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe what I could do is simulate real quick. So let's try that. Simulate, it's going crazy. Okay, fine. Um, okay, I'm gonna hit uh, unsimulate and I'm gonna go back to that pin tool. I wanna make sure it's selected. Four, I want to get my gizmo to come back up. Come back, gizmo. There it is. I just clicked it once again and it came back up. And I'm moving it out here. I'm going to simulate. I think I went through her sleeve again. Let me check. No, I didn't. I did not. I probably should have checked. I was a little hasty there. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that now. I'm going to try moving the other one. So I'm going to unsimulate. I hit spacebar. I'm going to move this guy. Okay. Uh, maybe I should zoom in. Well, if I hit six, it's not going to really let me zoom in. Okay, panning. Hmm. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna try to move it this way. <laughs> so this is really good practice if you're kind of new to just navigating and panning. I went through her fabric, Command Z. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna hit simulate. I think I just have too much stuff over there. Okay, unsimulate, select this guy again. I'm gonna hit eight. Let's zoom in here. Hmm. Okay, maybe there's too many pins selected. I don't know. I'm gonna kind of go for it. Let's see. Maybe if I go up a little bit. There we are. I don't know. 
Am I going to be able to get it through? Maybe I should turn it. Maybe I should have turned it. Maybe that would be smarter. Okay, hit the number six. I'm going to slide this through. Did I go through her arm again? I made it, sort of. Let's go this way. There we go. I'm going to hit six. Pull it more. Come on, buddy. There we go. Simulate. Okay. I did it. I got them through um, her belt loop. Okay, so I'm going to hit six. I'm going to hit space bar to simulate. Now I want to move these back guys. Let's move a little closer to her back is all. Maybe a little higher. Okay, and I'll simulate again. Okay. Anyways, um, for this, I just want you guys to get it through the armholes. I see I kind of messed up here. I can probably just fix this guy by hitting the gizmo and pulling it up. Um, if you want to get real fancy, you can try tying a knot. Um, I'm not going to make you guys do that in this class because this class is a little bit more about the pattern drafting part of it, um, not really about like rendering the 3D perfect graphic images. So it's definitely optional if you want to try to actually tie a knot. Um, but if you just get it through the armholes, I will be happy as well. And you can see here, I'm not even done. Come on, there it goes. So I, would, I definitely have a little bit more work to do because I didn't quite get it through the right one. So it might be just enough work for you guys for this one. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think of this. And if you have any tips or tricks to share with the class, um, cool. All right.